Peter escapes prison. Once more, we see God's power at work. God is awesome and magnificent, yet he's interested in people and the whole world. How amazing. We begin with a very wicked king. This king is called Herod. He's not the same king who was around at Jesus' birth. He had died many years ago. This one just has the same name and the same wicked ways. For some reason, probably jealousy and envy, Herod hated the preaching of the apostles because he hated Jesus. Even though Jesus was now dead, Herod still must have seen him as a threat. So he went and had James, the brother of John, killed. Next, he arrested Peter, intending to put him on trial and most probably to kill him too. So afraid was Herod of these men and their preaching that he had Peter guarded by 16 soldiers. The believers at the time were all gathered together in a house to pray for Peter's rescue. God heard their prayers. He sent an angel to Peter in his prison cell. Peter was fast asleep, chained between two prison guards. The angel nudged Peter awake and told him to get up. Immediately the chains fell off, but the soldiers didn't wake up. The angel told Peter to dress and follow him. The locked cell door just opened and Peter followed the angel past the rest of the guards and right out of the prison. They came to the great iron door that was in the big wall of the city. Even though it was shut tight, it just opened by itself. All this time, Peter thought he was dreaming. Now, safe inside the city, the angel disappeared. Then Peter realised that it had actually happened. He was a free man. He went straight to the house where he knew all his friends were praying for him. He knocked on the outer door. The servant girl, called Rhoda, was so overjoyed to hear Peter's voice that she left him outside and ran back in to tell everyone that Peter was at the door. No one believed her until she went and let him in. They were all astonished to see him. They didn't realise what amazing things God can do in answer to prayer. After chatting with them all and surely giving thanks to God, Peter left to find a safe hiding place. Not long after, this wicked king was giving a speech to crowds of people. They shouted that he wasn't just a man, but a god. Oh, Herod enjoyed this lie, this flattery. And God struck him down dead. So we see that God really has the power to help, but also to destroy evil, proud people. Once again, we are reminded that there are two groups of people, those who love God and those who don't. And there's coming a day when we'll be sorted into one of these two groups. Which group will you belong to? Remember how God deals with those who don't love him. But remember too, how God shows his love to those who do. The cross is the best love this world has ever known. God is ready even now to forgive you and make you a special friend. We can be forgiven our sins and find we love him at last and heaven waiting for us with Jesus' arms opened wide. Oh, praise him.
Thank you.